Hello and welcome to the Unit 4 of the IT Asset Management Foundation Certification course. In the previous three units, we have covered the basics of ITEM Foundation, followed by Hardware Asset Management Basics, and then the Software Asset Management Basics. We now move on to the Services and Cloud Management, also known as SEAM or SEAM. At the end of this module, you will be able to understand and describe the concept and benefits of services and cloud. Also understand what are the assets to manage within the services and cloud. The concept of the CM itself or the SIEM itself, the benefits from SIEM, the pitfalls in SIEM, the SIEM processes, and how SIEM is placed in the overall item ecosystem. And also the importance of compliance in a cloud perspective and what are the best processes in a cloud perspective under SEAM or services and cloud management. So firstly, we introduce the concept and objectives of services and cloud and afterwards, the management of services and cloud assets in terms of the pitfalls with respect to contracts, terms and conditions, and the multiple platforms available across the physical, virtual and cloud environments. Move on to the part one of the unit four. This unit has been split into two parts. Begin with the concept. In a successful item program, all key areas need to be taken into account. So this module addresses particularly the services and cloud asset management. We have, the, with an item, we have HAM, hardware asset management. We have SAM, software asset management. SEAM, Services and Cloud Asset Management, and PINAM, People and Information Asset Management. In the recent years, services and cloud have become more and more relevant due to increasing number of businesses that have added virtual and cloud technologies to their physical infrastructure. Let's look at some basic terms, concepts, and definitions under services and cloud. Cloud allows management of multi multiple platforms across physical, virtual, and cloud environments with respect to the organizational needs in terms of storage, data protection, policies, and availability. These services are delivered from a provider's data center via the internet, meaning employees can access cloud over the internet. Cloud services are off-premise services and as opposed to on-premise, meaning on-premise are known as in-house services, but cloud services are always off premises. Cloud services typically include data storage, backup solutions, web based application services, application hosting, including licenses and virtual server platforms, which means that the organization need not buy hardware and software, whereas they can rent or lease cloud computing services through pay per use schemes. For example, an organization may go to a cloud vendor and set up a computer lab in less than an hour using the cloud provider's resources purchased online. Resources meaning computer storage required software as available from the provider. The so services in cloud, how can we define it? It refers to the services delivered from a provider's servers via the internet. It can be categorized as out of house services opposed to services from the company's own servers, which are known as in-house. As I mentioned before, this can include data storage capacity, backup solutions, web-based services, hosted applications, or database processing, et cetera. The market you might have observed is transitioning away from the IT model that is PC-centric to one that is mobile and cloud-based. Services in cloud are in fact tightly connected to hardware and software as the service provider supplies the hardware and software necessary for the service. Which means basically the customers of services and cloud would have to rent or lease the services instead of buying and manage this hardware and software in-house. So we already seen that services and cloud is more like an out of house appendix to the hardware and software in-house. So in general, the business requires direct services from IT such as IT hotline, user training and company aligned policies to be applied. And the IT organization supports the business by delivering services 
to the end users in the form of IT operations and support. The services in cloud, you can say that they are another word for outsourcing. You purchase services in order to enhance the business value of the company. Services in cloud are basically software and hardware, but in additional terms as out of house services. The out of house setup requires managing complexity on various platforms, understanding of regulations, roles and responsibilities regarding compliance, inventory information, and data security. Therefore, you have to understand the key points of interest you are dealing with to maintain your focus on the key issues in both the cloud setup and the contractual terms, including the licensing approach. <clears throat> 